Hey guys, this is Fire Charger with the third generation Conjure. I'm coming back with another video. This time we're going to do the Pisces. So I'm going to do this reading a little bit different. I am going to use um, my Spirit Oracle cards to do this reading just because I want to simplify it a little bit, um, you know, and not try to make it too long. But if you don't know who we are, we are a spiritual company. We specialize in spiritual supplies such as powders, baths, candles, oils, um, you name it. And I'm going to leave the link below um, to our shop, but it is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store. But we're going to go ahead and get into the reading for um, Pisces. And I'm just going to draw some cards just based on different aspects. So I'll do one for love, one for career and finances, and one for, you know, your spiritual path. So we'll do the past, we'll do the present, and we'll do um you know some future cards just so we can you know kind of simplify it a little bit okay all right so the cards that i'm drawing now this is going to be for the past you know so what's been going on in the past as far as um pisces is concerned in their love and home and family life okay so the next one is going to be career and uh finances all right, and then next we are going to do your spiritual path and any kind of messages for you this year, okay? All right, so first we're going to start with the, the past, okay? So here we have the karma card, okay? So the karma card um, advises that someone or something may emerge um, from the past, this card gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. So it's karma, you know, coming back. Um, it advises you to stand firmly in your power and to also stand in the light of love. The universe is going to provide you um, with some fresh opportunities to clear away any kind of negative karma linked to any kind of relationships or anything. Okay. So, and that's for, you know, any kind of love aspect. So whatever you putting out, you put out, you know, as far as any kind of relationships, you know, it's coming back. Okay. But even if there are some kind of negative relationships that you had in the past, it's time to clear that up and move on. Okay. All right. So then we have the present, you know, for your home, family life, love aspects, and we have joy. Okay. So, um, this represents love and compassion right now. This is a time for healing for a lot of, um, you guys within this sign. Um, it advises that you are being showered with love and light and to accept this as a gift, a newfound joy for your life. And this will replace sadness. So this may be some one new coming into your life presently, or it may just be uh, you emotionally healing from any kind of past trauma, any kind of past relationships, you know, and that's what's going on presently with a lot of people within this sign. So then we have the future. So what the future holds um, for this year, and we have an emotional breakthrough okay so this card is emotional transformation it's release it's freedom um it's it's safe to express how you feel um to let it all out relationships deepen so if you're currently currently in a relationship you know you will be able to express your point of view to your partner you know if you're not in a relationship or just getting over a relationship you will have an emotional transformation this year and everything will work out Okay, so then we're going to go into the uh, career aspects as far as, you know, any kind of monetary, business, etc. So for the past, we have Blessings. Okay, so um, this card, the Blessings card is a very positive card. Um, it advises you that you're being showered with light. You know, a lot of you may be going through a period where your creativity is in its peak you know, and um, it's activated. An endless stream of rainbow color stems from your heart. So, you know, if anything that you have been doing previously in any kind of career, especially any kind of creative endeavors previously, you know, all of that hard work is coming to the forefront. Okay, so then we have present and we have holiday. Okay, so um, this card is the spirit of the ocean. You know, and it states that the spirit of the ocean calls you, offers healing and much needed peace. It advises you to come to the water and connect with an endless flow of magic. It may advise that you may need a holiday 
So some of you may be feeling stressed out as far as your career is concerned, and you may need a little break. So it may be time to plan that vacation, take that vacation time, just kind of get yourself rejuvenated and, you know, kind of get your mind right, okay? So then next we have um, the future. And like I stated, this is for any kind of business, career matters, so forth. And we have the card of forg forgiveness. Okay, and so what this card um, tells you is that time heals all wounds. It may be time to let go and forgive, not to be the victim. Um, it also advises you to set yourself free and tells you that you are internally loved and the love being offered um, will heal you. So if it's some kind of toxic job or something that you have going on this year, it may be time to let it go. You know, let, let go of any kind of toxic situations and so forth. So a lot of you um, within the sign of Pisces, you know, you may be letting go of a stressful job that has been stressing you out this year, but everything will work out and everything will get better if you do decide to leave, you know, any kind of toxic workplaces, any kind of toxic environments, but just make sure that you put that energy to, um, you know, pursuing what you want to do or pursuing something better. Oh, so then lastly, we have, you know, your spiritual aspects for this year and what's going on with you this year. And we have Aura of Love. Okay, so um, this represents light and dark. So it represents, um, you know, the earth and also the sky. Um, it's a merger of two souls. So right now, for many within this sign, it's a time to acknowledge your feminine and masculine energies. Okay, because they are both you know, very important. You know, you don't want, even with males having a over, um, over amount of masculine energy. Sometimes you need a little bit of feminine energy to balance that out. And it may be even uh, feminine energy coming from a partner for any kind of males or masculine energy coming from a partner as far as females are concerned. Okay, so this represents the aspects of yourself. Uh, yin and yang, it's important for you, especially spiritually, to find balance and balance between those energies, okay? And that's the past, okay? So that may be something that, you know, you have went through and something that, you know, you have transitioned through already. Okay, so then we have the present. Okay, so we have angel over me. Okay, so what this represents is, is a card of protection. So, um, most of you within the sign are, are spiritually protected. So, um, as I stated, it's a protection card, um, represents angel wings surrounding you, advises you to trust and also not to fear, but replace that fear with love. Um, it signifies you internally being held in the arms of an angel. So it is a card of spiritual protection and that's currently. So, um, as an outcome card for this year, we have the moon goddess okay so with the moon goddess this represents a time of necessary upheaval uh, it's a blessing in disguise advises that as the dust settles the gift will re be revealed so a lot of people who may be going through a spiritual awakening not everything is pretty not everything is rose and glitter and um you know you may have Many within this sign may have a difficult spiritual awakening. There may be some upheaval in your life that's waking you up and pushing you to that awakening point. Okay? So, I did meet my goal. I said I was not going to make this video super long. But um, if this resonated with you, if you can give us a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also find any kind of spiritual products at our shop. And the website for that is www.thirdgenerationconjure.com. Dot store and you can also follow us on instagram at third generation conjure and also like us on facebook at third generation conjure thank you bye-bye